In this webinar, we shall be providing guidance on the following topics. The key elements of evaluation claim, the law of limitation as it applies to valuation claims, the contractual terms that you should be agreeing with your clients before you do any work for them, liability caps, what they are and how they can help protect your business, and risk management at all stages of the reporting process. So turning first to the key elements of evaluation claim, these were as follows. Firstly, does the valuer owe the claimant a duty of care? Secondly, has the valuer acted in breach of that duty? Thirdly, has that breach of duty caused the claimant to suffer a loss claimed? And finally, what is the value or amount of the loss caused by the breach of duty? I've added contributory negligence to this list because whilst it's not a key element of a claim, it's an issue that is often raised in defence of a claim in order to reduce the amount of damages payable to the claimant. We will therefore be giving a brief outline of how the principles of contributory negligence apply to valuation claims. Turning next to causation and damage. Even if the claimant can establish a duty of care and breach of that duty, it does not follow that he can recover all losses suffered as a result of entering into a particular transaction. He must first establish that, when entering into the transaction, he relied on the valuer's advice and that such reliance was reasonable. This point can be particularly relevant to claims relating to securitised loans, where third parties purchase loans many months, if not years, after the original valuation. In such circumstances, even if the claimant can show that he relied on the report when agreeing to purchase the loan, he may not be able to persuade a court that his reliance on the valuation was reasonable, given the passage of time since it was prepared, in which case the claim will fail.